Hello everyone and welcome, this is Common and Cam. Today I'm going to be talking about the Transformers Cybertron movie. Yes, it is still in the works. We first got news of this uh, movie being developed back in 2015, around July time. This is just a year after Age of Extinction came out, and it's been kind of quiet since then. This was the stage where we were trying to really map out what the next future Transformers movies will be, and well, a lot has changed since then. The movie was originally labelled Transformers 1, because Hasbro applied for the trademark of that, Andrew Bearer and Gabrielle Ferrari, they originally submitted the screenplay for the movie, but as we all know, the Transformers writers room was unfortunately disbanded. The movie was set up in the Transformers Bayverse, and well, after watching the Bornby movie, fans are more eager to see a Cybertron movie, not connected to those past films. Now, although it won't be CGI and it will more likely just be full-on animated, depending on what kind of tone that will be, it's actually being uh, helmed by Boulder Media Studio Limited, who have been working on Transformers Rescue Bots Academy and also Transformers Cyberverse. But Transformers live-action series producer Lorenzo Di Boventura admits that an animated movie set on Cybertron is still in the works. This is what he had to say. We actually have an animated movie in the works that will tell the whole Cybertronian mythology. The fans will love that. So he's just teasing us there, not giving us so much to go on, but just like giving us a glimpse of like, okay, yeah, so this is the idea we've got. Now, when they actually first announced this, it was initially a rumor, but when it was first circulating, there wasn't like much development on it to begin with, they just had the draft of it, so no like animation actually took place. So I can imagine after the success of Bumblebee, they are going to go ahead and actually make this um, a thing. Lorenzo also speaks about the possibility of a Transformers Optimus Prime solo movie. And unfortunately, he's not in that enthusiastic. He says, We're trying to figure out an Optimus Prime solo movie. It'll be hard with Optimus. He is always right, very stoic, and is a man of few words. It is kind of saying, let's do an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. But how much is there to say about Obi-Wan Kenobi? It's not that easy. What you just said there perfectly explains why an Optimus Prime movie will work. If you know about the Optimus Prime character, you will be able to make a movie out of him. <laughs> you can't just say, oh yeah, 30 years of material, oh, there's nothing to say about Optimus Prime. There's a lot to say about Optimus Prime, so I don't quite understand what he's talking about there. Um, I do think he's talking a lot of hooey there, because uh, there's lots of material out there that you can make an Optimus Prime movie about, um, specifically his origins. The hard burden of dealing with a leadership position, with the Matrix as well. There's just so much with Optimus Prime that you could definitely make into a movie, and it's really, it's really actually worrying for a producer who works on this series, or has been from the very beginning, saying something like this. Like, I don't really think he should have the position of a, of a live-action movie producer um, if he's going to say stuff like that, because it seems like he doesn't actually quite know the material that he's working on. No disrespect, I'm just saying it's, it's just really baffling to hear him say something like that. I mean, I've personally wrote my own stories about Optimus Prime's character, I've said it in many different ways, uh, it, it's just one thing as a fan, just writing a story for Optimus Prime, and, you know, because I understand his character, we fans, we understand Optimus Prime, maybe, uh, maybe I should have a job. <laughs> Regardless, the future of a live action series is definitely a squabble right now. We don't actually know what is going to happen next. So let's just hope for the best and someone can actually make Transformers 1, the animated movie, a reality, and also the Optimus Prime solo movie a reality. We all know Peter Cullen wants that Transformers Optimus Prime movie. He is so infused about it. Heck, let's get Peter Cullen riding on this movie. It seems like he will know way more than this producer. Anyway guys, this is all the news I have on the Transformers movies today. Yes, I said to myself I was going to have a break, but there's just more news flooding, so I will keep up to date, so don't worry about that. I will sacrifice my Christmas holidays to bring you all news about Transformers. So stay tuned for that guys, if you're new here, be sure to like, comment and subscribe, and click on that notification bell to get all updates, especially on Transformers, instantly. Till the next video, goodbye.